Good morning! This is Andrea and welcome to the Homemaking Maven. So today I tried to film a vlog. I realized I forgot to narrate a portion of time. It appears in the video that we walked to the library, but we didn't in fact. Um, actually, we just walked around our block, then we left the dog at home, and I dropped my eldest daughter off at school, and then we went to the library. So because I don't naturally narrate my life, I forgot to talk about all that, and of course I didn't vlog all that, and yeah. So that's just explaining that little blip in time. Anyway, this is what happened. Good morning, it is Tuesday, February 21st. It is a rainy, yucky day, and so we are driving Brooklyn to school since the buses are canceled. You pardon? Hi, Carolyn. Hi, where are you going? Kids love walking in the ditches. Really kids. library. We're gonna go inside. We're just waiting for it to open up. So we're here a little bit early. It doesn't, it doesn't open up as early as we get here. And the big kids, well, Evelyn and Jackson are just playing on a giant snow hill they have out front here. There's teapot. Uh oh. Alright, here's teapot. Wow. Uh oh. There goes sugar bowl. <laughs> so fun. So fun. What are you two doing? Um, I'm just trying to make something over here. Making a farm? No. You're making a farm? Yeah. No. No. I'm making? making a fort. A fort, how fun. And then you have them taking a ride on a roller coaster. That's pretty fun. This is at the library, huh? Mm -hmm. And he's going to keep the bad guys. Back home from the library now, and what are you doing, Jackson? You checking out the books that Mommy got? You really, really pleased? Mm -hmm. What book are you looking at here? Jedi Academy: The Force Oversleeps. You excited about it? Uh -huh. I like it. Okay, Jackson. So you've been looking at Jedi Academy: Force Oversleeps. And then we also got this book, The Sasquatch Escape by Suzanne Selfers. Hmm. Anyway, that looks like an interesting book, doesn't it? Um, but mine, we'll read that I before bed. I am more interested in the ocean. So you wanted some science books, and you wanted to learn about oceans. 
So this is talking about our extraordinary blue planet, and it's showing you where all the oceans are on the world. There are five oceans. Blue percentages. Um, on this one, it's 40 per 60, um, 46 percent. Um, Pacific Ocean. African. No, Arctic. Arctic Ocean. Four percent. Mm -hmm. Atlantic. Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. Uh -huh. Um. 21 percent. Mm-hmm. So the biggest ocean is? Pacific Ocean. That's right. And so we've got another ocean book, because it's always great to have two resources. And then I picked a specific animal, and there was tons on the blue whales. Oh, I, I really like So this like one is whales. just whale rescue. Here's another animals of the ocean. We're about whales. So I got a couple of whale books, so we can go more in-depth about whales. And then these two Ooh, books are just also, it's also, oceans in general. It's also talking about volcanoes. Mm, are you already loving this book? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to show everyone the other books we got. We got a couple of Easter books, because Easter will be coming up in the next month. And um, these are both French books. And I don't know why they had the Easter French books out and not the English, but they did. All right, you wanted to show us this page. So this page has like a giant wave and it says like a tsunami. Gate, a tsunami exactly, like it shows how an earthquake happens out here and how it ends up being a giant wave. Called by the tsunami. Time it, called a tsunami by the time it And also it look, shore. it made like a little flood. So then here I have a giant stack. This is for Carolyn. And so I'm trying to focus on animal sounds and at the same time counting. So counting and animal sounds together this is another French one, so it's about four ducks, counting to five. This is more counting, counting with colors and different shapes, and, and it's got, um, you can touch them. It's got, like, different textures on the things. Yeah, very cute. And this, oh, this is an English one, five little ducks. And so I just thought it was so cute, these little tabs. And also right here, it's the song, the, f the five little ducks, and then so you go, with your hand when you read to your child. I thought that was really cute. And then we have Moo, which again is just animal sounds. And all this whole book is just this cow saying Moo. And Moo! <laughs> anyway. Okay, and then over here, this is the same, just French. I thought I had gotten all the French books over here, but again, Chiffre, Numbers. And then here, um, Découvrir les Noms, so again, Numbers. And then this is a French, another French book about Easter. What I really liked is it had a lot of vocabulary words over here. And so we'll be able to learn those along with our regular class, French class. Then for read out loud time, um, we're going to be reading The Secret Garden. It's a classic, and I think my daughter Brooklyn, because we do read aloud time after she comes home from regular school, and um, yeah, so we'll be reading along with her, and I think she'll really enjoy this book. And then for Jackson, Jamelia, it's a little sort of magazine-y type thing. Jackson loves it. I really like that they come out every month, and so obviously this is, issue is a little bit old, but um, I like that we can sort of have an activity and he's got little comics he can read. And when he often looks at this book is those few minutes at the beginning of class when I'm trying to still organize the kids and organize all of our stuff, he'll just open this up and he'll read um, a little story or read some of the comics and stuff that's in here. Yeah, so I really like that. And then this is a whole bunch of easy reader French books that Jackson can choose from because he has to read one French book every day. And we do have a collection of them, but this just gives him a little bit, you know, the selection, a little different. Down here we've got some science and we are doing electricity and magnets. So this one's all about electricity. This one is about magnets and electricity. And this one's about magnets and electricity. So that's what we're going to be focusing on for the month is all about magnets and a little bit of electricity. And then this book is more for me, um, just because I really enjoy the 1940s. So that is what we're up to for the rest of the day. We are going to be reading all of our library books. Uh, Jackson's already into them. He's already got uh, his face right there. <laughs> in a library book. I love library day because 
it's just so exciting this whole new world that opens up when you get a whole bunch of new books and the kids just dive into them and they're so excited to read them and so yay <laughs> So that is just a small snippet of our day. I realize vlogs should go longer through the day. Yeah, I'm just not practiced at this vlogging thing. I really need to keep practicing. But give a thumbs up, give a like if you do like the vlogging. If you'd like to see more, be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you love the library. If you were curious about any of the books that you saw in the video or that we had talked about, I made a huge list, which is down below in the description. It is the biggest description I have ever made. All the books are listed there so you can just scan through to find the book that you are interested in and you can order it from your library or possibly purchase it online, whichever you choose. Thank you again to all my lovely subscribers. Thank you to everyone who comments on my videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and tap the little bell icon to make sure you know every time that I post. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.